You don't really know much about Halloween. Alright, and welcome back to another unboxing video. I am your host, Joel. I am one half of the Newly Deads. And on this uh, episode, we are slowly getting through all of the things I bought at the uh, subscriber sale that uh, halfway, to, is it halfway to Black Friday, I guess. Uh, and I've been trying to figure out how to break them up. So um, on this one, we are doing the 4K releases, the, uh, the, the big one, so to speak. But before I get into that, if you're not familiar with the Newly Deads, uh, just go to thenewlydeads.com. You can find out, um, you know, any events that we're going to be at as we are artists. You can go check us out there, meet us in person, say hello, see what we have to offer. Uh, we also write two blogs, uh, one each. We also have a uh, podcast version of our television show. We have a television show, which is available through multiple different uh, avenues that you can check out, as well as a ton of other YouTube content and a lot of other fun stuff there if you want to know more about us. On that site, there also is our email address. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can reach us at contact at the We would be happy to get back to you as soon as we get your message. So let us know what you got on your mind. So I don't have a 4K player yet. It is on my list of things to do at some point to upgrade the television, get a 4K, and kind of take that leap into the next step of uh, the next evolution, as it were, of home uh, entertainment. So... Uh, I've been picking things up here and there, but most of these have uh, regular Blu-ray versions in the box as well as the 4K, so it's not like I can't watch them. But also, you know, we have, um, with the, our family has a, at least one uh, gaming system that has the ability to play them, so we can still watch if we have to, but it's just not quite the full experience. So the first thing uh, I picked up was Schizo, which also includes X-Ray. Schizo is from 1980. X-Ray is from 1981. Uh, Schizo, uh, Schizoid, excuse me, is directed by David Paulson. His name was David Paulson, uh, who directed Savage Weekend and a whole lot of TV. Uh, probably heard of Savage Weekend if you're familiar with exploitation films at all. Uh, X-Ray was directed by Boaz Davidson, who directed Private Popsicle and Lemon Popsicle, which sounds like uh, a weird double feature. Uh, Schizoid, it stars one Klaus Kinski, who is notorious for being difficult to work with and a little bit uh, unhinged at times. Just look it up. There's a lot of stories. He's, he was in uh, Nosferatu, The Vampire, uh, and Crawl Space, which are both kind of notoriously kind of interesting films to check out. Um, and X-Ray stars Barbie Benton, former Playboy Playmate, and uh, who was in the film Deathstalker and a whole lot of TV so the plot of Schizoid is uh, an advice columnist in the midst of getting a divorce begins receiving threatening notes from an anonymous stalker. Meanwhile, members of her group therapy session are being murdered by an unknown assailant. That sounds like a very familiar plot that we've seen in other films before. Not super original. Uh, X-Ray, while receiving a routine checkup, a woman finds herself stranded on the hospital's eighth floor while someone dressed as a doctor is intent on her never leaving. Uh, even if it means killing any staff member that comes in contact with her. So it sounds like a very dedicated medical health professional who is ignoring the Hippocratic Oath. Um, so so trivia for Schizoid, uh, writer and director David Paulson was told by producers Menem Golan and Yoram Globus, which if you're not familiar with Golan and Globus, they are two of the guys that were behind Canon Films uh, that made a lot of Charles Bronson films back in the day, one of my favorites. Um, Anyway, that uh, that they had to have a. Anyway, let me back up. So David Paulson was told that he had to have um, a screenplay within one month ready that could be shot for under a million dollars and that could feature Klaus Kinski. So he was under contract, and they basically needed something—a vehicle for him. So Paulson only had one month to secure a crew and shooting locations, as well as get a screenplay ready. So. You think you got a tough, I, I'm, I'm curious to see the result. 
And uh, X-Ray, this film was shot at night in an actual abandoned hospital. No, thank you. Uh, so these are kind of light on anything inside. You've got the, the discs there and the art for each one of those discs. The, uh, the 4Ks are each have their own individual discs. And then the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the Blu-ray shares, they're both on the same disc. So you can put in one disc for both. Now this one I ignored on the last sale and uh, ignored when it came out originally, but I couldn't ignore it anymore. We finally picked up Beastmaster from 1982. Um, this is directed by Don Coscarelli. Kind of the reason why I'm surprised I haven't picked it up before, who of course is the Phantasm franchise, which you could see behind me right over here on the shelf. Um, <clears throat> I've got multiple shelves, but this is one of the shelves. <laughs> you could see that I have the, the five um, Blu-ray box set that came out, uh, I don't know how many years ago, six years ago, seven years ago. It's fantastic. Um, I'm a Coscarelli fan. And then at Stars 1, Mark Singer, right there, who was in one of my favorite TV shows of all time, V. So I don't know how you could go wrong. Uh, this is a sword and sorcery fantasy about a young man's search for revenge who's armed with supernatural powers. Uh, he and his animal allies wage war against marauding forces, which I, uh, uh, you know, am a fan of all the things involved except sword and sorcery. I'm not a big sword and sorcery kind of uh, swords and sandals sort of things. This is a little different because it's a bit more of not necessarily Conan the Barbarian or He-Man or something, but it's kind of more in that vein than in the other sorts of things like Gladiator. Um, so a little bit of trivia here. The eagle um, often refused to fly on cue uh, to shoot footage of it in the air. It was dropped from a trap door in a hot air balloon. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I've actually seen this before. This is not something that's new to me. Um, I recently picked up a copy for my brother-in-law, who is a, a fan who went and saw it in the theater back in the day. <clears throat> so I almost bought a copy for myself then, but I did not. So now it is going to be proudly on the shelf, and I'm kind of interested to revisit this one, and it's got a lot of uh, special features that I want to check out. So then finally, <clears throat> kind of the one that um, was not necessarily the, the I guess, X-Ray and Schizoid is probably the, the one I knew, knew the least about. This one actually had come up before, and I had ignored it the first time around, but uh, I kept reading about it as time had gone by. This is Terminal Island from 1973. This is directed by uh, Stephanie Rothman, who directed The Velvet Vampire and Bloodbath. Sounds like they are probably a double feature. Um, it stars Tom Selleck. Yes, that Tom Selleck, who was in Magnum P.I., Runaway, Lassiter. Um, apparently in this film, he looks very un-Tom Selleck-y. That's a descriptor. Uh, so the plot of this is that after the abolishment of the death penalty, California murderers are dumped on an island to spend the rest of their lives unsupervised. Uh, there's two groups that are formed, one led by a psychopath and another group determined to bring him down. Sounds kind of like Lord of the Flies with the adults, sort of. Um, the one bit of trivia I had here was that in addition to Tom Selleck and Roger E. Mosley, um, they later, uh, who were in this cast, they ended up later starring in Magnum P.I. together. Uh, Phyllis Davis, who also uh, starred in, in this, was in eight episodes of Magnum P.I. and um, was a character named Chloe Mitchell, mostly in the last season. So basically, you've got three different people that were uh, a lot of the people behind the Magnum P.I. series in this one film. Um, I'm curious to see this because I've heard lots of interesting things, and like I said, uh, Tom Selleck is very un y in this movie, so we'll have to see what that means and uh, I'll have to report back. All right, well, that is it for this one, kids. We got more to come, so stay tuned to the channel. And um, just remember that uh, nothing in life is guaranteed, so don't forget to unbox your heart. See you next time. <laughs> Halloween, the festival of Sauron. Happy Halloween.